Several robbers broke into the bank they quickly took control of the scene and threatened the bank manager to open the vault. Then, using high-tech methods, they easily cracked the code and soon a box popped out, which was full of diamonds. They poured the diamonds into the bag, but didn't realize there was a flash drive in the middle. As they were about to retreat, one of the robbers tried to take out a resisting security guard. His companion rushed to stop them, and they clashed then struggled. Unexpectedly, one of the hood was ripped off and the robber was a pretty girl. Everyone in the room saw her face, and her teammates suggested that the hostages should be killed. But Anna did not want to kill innocent people. She quickly put on the hood. Anna grabbed her teammate's gun and pulled the trigger, sending him to God. Then she dragged the body into the car and left the area. They went to the countryside and destroyed the car and the body. The bearded man told them to sell the diamonds and split the loot, and then left. Anna and her boyfriend, David, went to a hotel to rest. David told her that there was a USB flash drive in the diamond diamond, which must contain important information. At that moment, there was a knock on the door and David told her to hide in her room and see what was going on. The person who came was their best friend, but suddenly two assassins barged in and kicked and punched them without saying a word. After controlling them, a man in a suit appeared, named Carter, who worked for a congressman. The congressman is running for president, and the flash drive contains a lot of dirt on him that could be leaked. He hid the flash drive in a bank vault, not realizing that Anna and the others had taken it so he sent Carter to retrieve it. After making sure his buddy wasn't involved in the robbery, Carter told his boys to let him go. As soon as his friend tried to leave, he took the gun in his brother's hand and killed him with a single pull of the trigger. They then proceeded to beat the shit out of David, who was left with a bruised face. Anna, who was hiding under the bed, couldn't take it anymore, but David stopped her with a look. Carter asked him where the flash drive was, but David wouldn't say a word, so Carter had his arm broken. Anna was heartbroken, but there was nothing she could do. Then they threw David on the bed and the torture continued. The woman hid under the bed and listened to the wailing of her boyfriend on the bed when suddenly a sharp knife stabbed her. She followed the direction of the knife and accidentally found the USB flash drive, which she hurriedly took off and hid in her clothes. But her boyfriend had already been tortured to death, and Anna was inconsolable. After the killers left, Anna went to the laundry room to find a suitable dress to change into. Then, barefoot, she rushed into the parking lot and grabbed an unwashed car and left in style. She went to the home of her accomplice, the bearded man, and begged him to take her in for the night. When the killers came after her, the bearded man opened the door and Anna escaped. The bearded man is a tough guy, but he's too confident to pull out his gun and fight. He sat on the couch and guarded the only entrance to the house. He thought it was a sure thing, but he didn't fire a single shot and went to God. Carter led his men into the house, but there was no sign of Anna. Looking through an open window, he thought Anna had escaped, so he returned disappointed, not realizing she was hiding in the ceiling. The next day Carter went to David's house and his men knocked out his sister and took control of his nephew. Carter got the missing diamonds back, and before he left, he told his men to shut him up. Before he left, he told his men to silence him, but they got a taste for women. The nephew escaped and hid in a cramped fireplace. One of his men followed, but was suddenly attacked by Anna who had come to back him up. The bald man's men were about to win Anna pulled out a fruit knife and hit the bald man directly in the back. Anna then took the bald man's phone and called Carter to ask him to hand over the diamonds. Carter gave her the address of the factory. Soon Anna rushed there, 